What's up, your boy Jay here. Welcome back. I know I'm a couple days late. Um, here is my SummerSlam review. And I kind of wanted to do a follow-up on my last video to see how my predictions went. Um, first off, off the bat, let's get it out of the way. The one big negative from SummerSlam was that Bianca Belair slash Sasha Banks slash Carmella slash Becky Lynch. Um, yeah, I was excited when Becky came out. I was one of the people like, oh, this is going to be good. But when they practically did the whole Kofi Brock Lesnar thing, I was pissed. And I've seen a lot of people on social media just as pissed. I haven't been as vocal about it, but that, you know, I, I, my prediction was that she was going to lose the title to Sasha because they kept promoting the match. I kept reading that she wasn't going to be there, but when they pulled the trigger and they completely just <laughs> blocked her, I was pissed. Um, so my prediction was she was going to lose it, um, but I thought she was going to lose it to Sasha. Um, technically I was right, but it, I'm a, that's one of the big negatives. I'm not going to count that because I did not like that. Um, so I'm going to get that out of the way. The Bianca Belair losing the title to Becky Lynch. Congratulations to Becky, but the whole way they did it, nah, nah. So, but in the terms of the rest of the, the, the pay-per-view, it was, it was decent. It was good. We had, um, we had some, some weird situations, but, um, but starting off with, uh, the Raw Tag Team title match, Rated RK Bro versus AJ Styles. I got that right. My prediction was uh, they pulled the trigger on RK Bro. It was either Randy was going to turn or they were going to pull the trigger. They pulled the trigger. The joint was good. I was happy with that. So I got that one right. The next one was uh, Alexa versus Eva Marie. I didn't know really how to predict that one. really didn't care much. Um, I thought that they would have Eva Marie win since it was her technically her first match back. But um, they had Alexa win i didn't care um the match was whack but i got that one wrong so right now i'm one and one um the next match um my prediction with this was also wrong it was gender mahal versus drew mcintyre i thought that they would pull the trigger on this one too but they didn't um drew mcintyre is the winner um the match was all right um but you can definitely see that drew is better than the gender but the match was good but i got that one wrong so I'm one and two right now. Um, the next match, which I think was a sleeper match, was Damian um, Priest versus Sheamus. These these guys beat the living shit out of each other. Um, but the match was good. I was happy that Damian Priest won. Um, and the match was excellent. Uh, the right man won, um, but they put up a fight, and I really liked it. Um, right now, your boy's two and two. Um, the next match was uh, for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. Um, I picked the Usos. Um, not surprised that they won. I know that they're trying to do a whole feud with Dominic and uh, and Rey Mysterio, but I think it's too early in my opinion. But who knows? WWE likes to pull the trigger early on a lot of stuff. But I got that one right. So right now my score is looking pretty good. Um, the next match, um, Nikki um, versus Rhea versus Charlotte. I didn't want them to take the title off of her, but they did. Charlotte's like a 34-time women's champion. Congratulations to her. But um, they 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 tend to, with a lot of these new newer women, they don't keep the titles on them. Um, they tend to pull them for the exception of Bianca, who, who was champion since WrestleMania. But um, I got that one wrong. So again, another tally mark. Um, now, the match I predicted that was going to be the match of the night and it was Edge versus Seth Rollins. Now, when that brood music hit, it was awesome. He had the swag. I don't know what Seth Rollins was wearing, but you know, these two went out there and had a great match. Um, Edge won, I, I, I kind of figured Edge was gonna win because he's been losing a lot. Um, but the match, match of the night right there, you know, um, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, that rank, that's number one match of the night for me. Now Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg. Um, the match was what it was. Uh, the finish was weird. I don't really know what happened. Um, but when Bobby, I got that one right too. I'm happy they didn't take the title off of him. 
But when Bobby Lashley put the full Nelson the Hurt Locker um, on Goldberg's son, <laughs> Adrenaline was funny. I'm not going to lie. Um, the talk about child abuse in public and ain't nobody do a fucking thing about it. So, but I got that one right. Um, now, my prediction for this next match, which was the main event, um, was before I saw SmackDown. So I had posted my video early in the day, and then I saw SmackDown. Either I'm leaving that stadium as the Universal Champion, or I'm leaving WWE. Shit. Because Roman said if he loses, he's leaving the WWE. And I was like, man, he's not losing. I wanted him to, I really wanted him to win. I thought they would put the 17 title on John, but they didn't. I'm happy that they didn't pull the trigger on that. Um, I'm happy that they kept the belt on Roman. That match was good. Number two match of the night for me. So it's Edge, then um, then Roman versus, it's Edge versus uh, Seth, Roman versus Cena, and then Damian versus Sheamus. So, yep, those are my top three matches. Um, you know, SummerSlam was good, was 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 better than I expected it was going to be, with the exception of the, the the flawed part of the Bianca Belair thing. And the Alexa, Eva Marie match could have been safe for nothing. Um, could have avoided that. But then the excitement when Brock Lesnar's music hit, I was like, oh, holy shit. Again, it's going to be Brock versus Roman. And the whole interesting thing is the side that, that Paul Heyman's on. Let's see how this whole new thing develops. Um, but I'm happy that Roman won. Um, I was excited for Brock to be back. When Brock comes back, it's always a weird thing. Um, but um, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite match. I already know what everybody's going to hate um, on SummerSlam was the whole Bianca versus uh, Becky Lynch thing. But put your put your comments at the bottom. Rank your matches. Which one was your favorite one? Again, for me, Edge versus Seth. John versus Roman. And then um, Damian Priest versus Sheamus. Those are my... My top three matches of SummerSlam. Um, don't forget to follow your boy. Hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to turn on the bell. If you like my content, more stuff coming. See you on the next one.